Hey folks, you know what's inside in this box? It's an ultra sexy Fiesta Red. Fender American Original 60s Telecaster Custom. <laughs> what a long name. So stay with me, I undress her, unbox her, I check all the parts and I let you know my thoughts on this beat. <laughs> First impression, this is a second hand guitar and the case is very clean, very looked after. No big marks, no big damages. So I'm very positive. I think the guitar is going to be in beautiful condition. When the, when the case looks like this, usually the guitar looks like that as well. <laughs> Let's see. Let's see. Hello, baby. Are you ready, folks? <laughs> <laughs> but before I open the case, but before I open the case, can I ask you guys just please support my work, support my art by subscribing to my channel and sending me a thumbs up and also very important, please, please just let me know your thoughts about this beauty. Just drop me a comment. I'm, I'm very curious what you think about it. <laughs> Thank you very much. And let's see. Let's, let's see what's inside the case. Are you ready? <laughs> Oh, hello. Oh, the smell. First impression is the smell. Always the smell. You use Evian skin cream. You can call me guitar pervert as usually when I open the case. The first thing I do <laughs> is just smell the motherfucker. <laughs> And this smells beautiful. Oh my God, this nitro smell <laughs> makes me crazy all the time. I tell you what, folks, first impression. I love the color. This is a legendary color. I'm sure you know Fiesta Red and the Daphne Blue and Lake Placid Blue and all these colors come from the car industry, you know, in the, uh, in the 50s and 60s, uh, Fender just used the same paints what the, uh, what the car industry used. So this was a color of a Chevy or a Cadillac Eldorado and things like that. And it ended up uh, on the guitar as well. So Fiesta Red is an absolute legendary Fender color. I tell you what, folks, and I love it, and I love it, and I love it.
Guys, did you hear how well it cleans up? It's such a beautiful thing. I love this in Telecasters, especially in good Telecasters. When the pickups are great and when the electronics great, you know, <coughs> you can play anything on a Telecaster without touching the amp or any pedals. I don't have any pedals here. I didn't touch the amp. So I played Hey Joe and uh, all these classic rock tunes. Uh, on the same setup I was just playing with my right hand you know with the dynamics and the, the only thing for for that classic jazzy uh, fly me to the moon sound I just turned the tone down a bit you know it, it sweetens the neck pickup up same guitar same setup a bit of bit of right hand uh, softening and uh, a bit of tone uh, adjusting and you can use the same guitar for classic jacks in the same setup that's a bloody beautiful thing in telecasters and then you just turn it back and start hitting it harder and it, 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 it's it's the best one of the best rhythm guitar in the on this planet i think uh, and you could you could hear you could hear telecasters on so many amazing recording records and that's that's the reason why because you you can use a good tele can be used for for anything <laughs> you can solo it as well so this is the this is the 60s american original one this has a nine and a half inch radius so the radius is quite flat so you can bend the hell out of it without uh, feeling fret out on it so it's it's really good this this model is really good for um, for solo work as well because of the nine and a half inch radius and the neck is not too big not too thin even and not too big very nice very nice and comfy obviously the fretboard edge is done perfectly the frets done perfectly i can't see anything serious uh, the rosewood is is nice and nice and dark uh, great great pickups I love when the bridge pickup has bass you know usually bridge pickup on telecasters on struts they don't have too much bass but this has enough just enough to uh, to, to stay warm as well to, to have enough warmth uh, in, in the sound in the bridge position so great I wouldn't change anything on this guitar to be honest there are there are models that arrive to me and uh, I, I think, oh my God, I need a new set of pickups because the pickups are dead or, or, or just they don't sound good to my ears, but everything seriously, I like the electronics. You don't need a fucking treble, believe in it. It sounds really good. <coughs> the pickups are great. Neck is great. Weight is just, just a good Telecaster. I, I don't call it heavy Telecaster. It's somewhere in the middle. It's not the lightest. The lightest Telecaster is usually made out of a swamp ash. This is Alder and it sounds great and it's loud. It's fucking loud. <laughs> and it moves it. Yeah, I can feel the vibration everywhere. So the neck joint is nice and tight. Guys, this is this is a good guitar. Hope you like it. You know, the Fender Custom Shop Telecaster and NOS guitars. So the new old stock Custom Shop Tellies go for fifteen hundred pounds or dollars more. And maybe the marketing department had to work hard for, you know, making the justice or uh, coming out with ideas how to sell those guitars for that much. Because this is a heavy, heavy. This is a tough competition for those. You know, this has everything. This has this is a really, really good 
Telecaster for £1,500 or $1,500, while those custom shop tellies start from 3 k easily. So you get everything. You get the, you get the, the ultra-thin nitro, you get great pickups, great electronics, a great neck with 9.5 inch radius. You get the the vintage tuners, but the the more it's, it's not about what you get; it's about how do you feel it. And this feels this feels like a seriously good Telecaster. There's nothing wrong with it. So maybe that's the reason why it's discontinued. <laughs> anyway, check if you want a good deal. Check this out on rollisguitars.co.uk. <laughs> oh my God, this beauty is ultra clean very 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 clean i can't see any big damages so far no absolutely zero there's no dings on this guitar this is this is a very well looked after instrument no no dings on this guitar and uh, very you know very sensitive things this here and the, and the neck pocket it's, itself because <coughs> fender usually uses ultra ultra thin uh, finish on these guitars so whenever someone tries to adjust the adjust the truss rod you have to take the neck off and when you take the neck off usually some finish peels off around the neck pocket or around the neck plate it's not a big thing you know it's it's just an ultra small thing i just it's just well worth to mention uh, with these vintage instruments uh, and these vintage nitro cellulose finishes this just this is just normal it happens all the time and when you buy a relic guitar for at least uh, about a thousand pounds more than this they do it fakely in the shop so they put some dings on it and marks on it usually around the neck pocket as well to make the guitar look like it's been used but this there's nothing on it this is very very clean i can't see anything around the neck pocket nothing around the neck plate it's nice nice beautiful beautiful finish very intact the neck is clean as well oh hell yeah this is a nice instrument and the weight wise it's 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 not too bad you know telecasters has a nice piece of alder body or ash body i think this is alder and it's it's not heavy not heavy at all Nice section already. You have you don't have to do anything with it. Yes, the neck is straight. I tell you what, folks. Well set up. It has. I think it has tens on it. Quite nice tens on it and clean as well. Let's see what this guitar come comes with. So, it comes first of all. It comes with uh, the most important thing for this guitar. Don't lose this. It's uh, the certificate. It's a beautiful certificate. Mm, genuine product of Fender. I like it. I like it. And uh, you get the case candy as well. Nice and clean. You have the strap locks. Uh, you have some. You have the hang tags as well. Don't lose these. You have the tremolo, uh, what's this, the bridge cover. So yeah, all here. So these are the things that the guitar come with. So, so these are the things that the guitar comes with. And it's a nice, nice, nice hard case. I like it so much. So guys, if you enjoyed this video, just please support my work, support my art by sending me a thumbs up and subscribing to my channel. And more importantly, please just let me know your thoughts on this beautiful inter instrument. Just drop me a comment and let me know what you think. Let, let me know what you can hear on this video. <laughs> this guitar is available on rollysguitars.co.uk. Don't miss it. <laughs> it won't be there for long. <laughs>